Hey folks, welcome back to Sunken Land. I wanted to show you something here off right off the beginning before I forget later. If you want to, what we will be doing later is rebuilding this base in a more durable metal, uh, the, the more advanced uh, architecture, but you don't have to worry about moving everything around like you do in other games like uh, Forever Skies. You've got to empty before you put a floor down, for instance. This guy, we can take out the floor, demolish it, and everything else will remain static in position. So we can go through and put in a different kind of floor if we want to. So this is something that is available for us to do later. So it, building wise, it is pretty flexible. It really is. Anyways, put this guy away. It's about noon. Actually, it's closer to one. Um, drop you off in there. Put the axe back in here. And let's go and get a bunch more materials of whatever kind. Um, let's eat you. Toss you on the Barbie. And grab some water. And let's get out of here. We do have some damage to our armor. Our pajamas. <laughs> so... This episode, I probably should build the uh, the armor repair tool in order to deal with that. Don't know if I have the music up loud enough for you guys to hear it. I forgot to turn the music on last episode. And let's see, 43, 49. The music lets you know when an attack is coming in. What is this? Let's go down there. So that would have alerted me that the mutants were attacking last time the music goes from a nice song to dun 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 dun. Yeah, it, it lets you know that something has changed um, that's what is this down here that's just a piece of freeway down there kind of hard to see through the waves but there's a overpass signage right there so we were headed I want to say a oh, little bit more to the left and we have two bases now that are lit up in red so that's two... Now, if you play the game, let me know if you know the answer to this. I think that means there's two potential sources that we can be attacked from. If we take them out before we discover other reds, we might have some, some peace. I'm not sure about that, but... See, I'm going this way. But it seems like there have been times in the other save that I had played, District 43, that um, when I had cleared all the red off the map... I had several days without any kind of attack, so I think there's something to that. This over here, District 43, those look... No, those are Marlins. Those are Marlins. Any sharks for District 43? No, not like the mansion. Yeah, I think we'll go explore over there. Where'd, where'd my boat go? Right there. Are you in there? I am. Let's get over to the middle a little bit. So District 43, let's figure out what that means. Is that industrial? I think it's industrial, but we'll find out. Let's drop into the middle of this place. Okay, one last look. Sharks, none, great. So, looks like factories. Yeah. Uh, don't have any tablets right now, so I do need to really keep uh, an eye on my on my oxygen level. We're about halfway now. I think I can go for one more something right there. Grab those and go. So last episode we were attacked and then we attacked one of their bases. If we attack a base per episode we can eventually clear or rid ourselves of all of these uh well, at the very least, the mutants at the beginning to uh, give us some peace there, kind of clean them off the map. They're the lowest level bad guy. So, let's do this one real quick. Oxygen, get close. So, they're the quickest one to uh, to clear up and get out, out of our way. I don't know why this game has decided that everybody else on the on the map has to hate us but they do so that's just what we have to work with 
at least in a game like Skyrim, you've got bandits and what have you, so you've got some bad guys to go and attack or will attack you. But you also have some nice NPCs that like you. It'd be nice if there was a... You know, besides the uh, the trader, she's the only one who puts up with us. And we are out of... That's not doing anything anymore. Oh, I think that kind of bugged out. Yeah, it, it didn't go poof and go away. That's what... I missed. Hmm. Yep, oh, I have to work on that one. Alright, grab some rubber from the tires here. And this is nothing. Let's go back and finish. It seems like there was something else right here. So let's see if there's, there's cloth in there. <clears throat> Wood. A horse statue. We got one of those last time. And, yep, oxygen one more time. Back up to the top. Okay, so do I need my axe out anymore? Let's go grab the steel out of here, the iron, scrap metal. Oh, there we go. Another axe job. Cloth and wood. And oxygen again. Yeah, it will be nice to get the O2 tanks. Give us uh, several minutes down there before we run out. Enough to pretty much fill your backpack. You are a dumpster. You've got a good variety of items in you. Let's see what's in there. Yep, he grabs that. And the tractor. So I'll show you what I meant last time by... Uh, there we go, by how long... Actually, that's faster than I remember. Okay. There is something down there that it just goes bump, 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 and it just feels like it takes forever to get through it, to collect all of the uh, the loot in it. Put you away. Let's do a car. There we go. And... Right down here, half a lung left. Grab you. Maybe one more car. And then we'll get back up there again. That's right, we left at noon, so sunset is gonna happen sooner than, than expected. What do we got going on? Oh, pretty much uh, full, so let's go dump this off. Get a few more dives before we gotta head back and spend the evening expanding the base some more. Oh, I didn't dump the last load. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, well, top you off. Wood will go in there. And cloth will go in there. What else can I do? Food-wise, strawberries. Just eat you. That nah, didn't help. We got seeds out of it. Um, what else? Glass? No. Don't have any of those. Yeah, that doesn't really... Worms. Charcoal. That goes over. So we'll toss you over, toss you over. We've got five spaces left, so we'll just have to work with that. So where am I? This building. What can I do to finish off this place? We've got some kind of a box. You are furniture. I see something over there. I don't know. I think that's just... Part of the building. Okay. Next level. Half a lung left. Let's just peek under. Do we need to come back? Yes, we do. Okay, race back, get some air. And back down again. Actually, that was wood. This is scrap metal. That's for base building, so I probably should concentrate on scrap metal. And, of course, bullets. One of these days, we're going to be able to make use of all those, that shotgun ammo. Okay, more air. Okay, so more scrap metal. Let's, let's go for that. Any of those big dumpsters? Let's... Oops, let's get some air. Let's look around see if there's a big... Oh, we're pretty much out. Metal-wise, I can handle another 11. And one more wood, some more cloth. So something like, actually, was that couch, where am I at? Was that couch leather or cloth? It was cloth. Yeah, so cloth and wood. Oh, wood is out now. 
what is that? Wood. We're done with that. Okay, any more metal around here? Uh, take you. Cloth and metal. Good. And that is... What was that? Knee boots. Wait a minute here. Do I want knee boots? Let's get up here and think. What have I got? I have got flip-flops. I probably want knee boots, don't I? Let's grab some food and go back down there. What was that? Put you away. We're, we're done otherwise. Alright, right there. What are you? Grab you. Two knee boots. Knee boots, knee boots. No, I don't think we need knee boots. I, I really... No, probably not. Let's... Do I have time on my fumbling? I probably don't. I'm just going to toss those and grab the other ones and see what those look like. I'm, I'm thinking more like army boots, but I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, well, I'll be sure to sell those. Let's jump back in here, and where's home? Where is... There you are. Where am I? There I am. Okay, Marlin's there for some great uh, fish steaks. So that's the base we raided last time, right at the end of last episode. And... Where is... The other one? Looks like a boat. Over there. So maybe we'll finish this episode paying them a visit if they don't pay us one first. Okay, spin around further. Nope, not going to. Okay. Alright, so food and water, we're okay. Let's dump off some materials. Just to make a little bit of space here. And we will set you to sell. <laughs> no, nope, not even curious. Okay, you head up into there. Another one of these guys. Okay. Uh, can I dump any more in here? Kind of. Alright, so gun parts. Let's put you up here. You... Where did I put... You guys are there. Let's take both of you out of there and put you down in here. I think that works. Okay. So, base building. Torch. Light. There we go. You... Grab back... Probably a couple of those, all of those. Not as much metal as I'd hoped. Okay. So yeah, I think I do want to work on finishing up down here first. Um, build foundations. So when we get the better foundations, we'll just swap out these guys. I want to be one wider. Same footprint here as there. I think so. Where am I at now? 36 metal. 28. Let's stop there, because I do want to build... Let's see. I think I've got to go research it first. Up here. This guy. Repair station. Need a component. Alright. You right there. And that... Well, let's see what it takes to build it. Um, what would that be? Probably build and this guy. Yeah, repair station. We have it all. Let's put you down here, come in from a battle, get her, or from a, uh, a looting uh, expedition, refill the air tanks, rebuild our armor, battle. See, did you hear the music change? We are being attacked. That is a one. Where are you coming from? Ah, they're coming in from over there. Now later we'll have the base lit up down there all around the place so we can see where we're shooting. I need to know if there's more than... Yep, there's more of them. Here they come. And it's cold. You guys can't see a thing because I can't hold a torch while I'm doing this. You can see the, uh, the silhouettes. Alright, that's two... Got to find these guys again. Well, we'll do that with a torch. He's over there destroying my stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Knock that off. Okay, you're down. Music changed. There, took the music up a little bit so you can hear it a little better. Because I could barely hear it. Okay, 
grab you torch there we go so they're only sending three at us right now so baby attacks good that's fine with me e and one more right about here right over there and nothing in him okay so that was red day five I noticed at the beginning when I played before that it was typically every third day. So it feels like we got here a little bit early this time, but let's warm up and figure out where I was. Repairs. Yeah, need to get these guys repaired. Didn't uh, didn't get hit last or this time, so didn't do any extra damage. Build repair station. So it's just kind of the shape of a grinder is all this guy is. They just kind of threw it in there to, to get it done. So we just hit F and let's see. Right down here you can see the red on this one. I don't have any headgear. Otherwise it would be a picture of a helmet right there. So hit F and it goes away. So there's not much more to it than that. Just Oh, interesting. It took quite a few taps after the red went away and it was still accepting it. Hmm. I'm not used to repairing clothes this way. It was always armor that I had on when they popped that into the game and that does seem like kind of a cheesy way of doing it at this point so I'm guessing that's just a a way of getting it into the game right now then later they'll come up with a way to improve that. There should be an armor repair bench or something that, that seems like it would work better. Anyway, so we built that down there. Let's get some lights down there. Let's get at least another one of these guys down there. So that is build lights. This guy, we need cloth. Ah, uh, you're down there. Grab a cloth. Head down below. You can take a pretty good sized jump without fall damage. So we can, you don't have to take that staircase every time. You're there. Fishbowl. The hanging lanterns work really well. When we do have ceilings, I'll hang four of those kind of through the center of, the, of this room and that'll be all the lights that we need. So I want to build too many of these at this point. This is mostly just to warm us up. And right now, let's see, I'm going to drop off there and land on it every time, aren't I? <laughs> let's just drop you out over here for the moment. That'll work. Okay. Stand here, get warm. This does wear off, wear out, so let's not use the torch too much. Okay, so I was running out of metal. That's what I was doing. That's why I stopped building. But eventually we're going to see probably walls. Build you metal walls. Back here, I guess it could be walls. There's really no need for windows along this run. Yeah, we'll put a floor out over. Okay, so... Um, metal wall. I'm out of metal anyway. Okay. Metal wall's here, but I need to put the pillars in like we did up there so I can build a floor across to it. Unless I build these foundations out. I could do that. I can foundation out to this point here and then put walls in. And we'll see what that looks like. But we do need more... Um, more materials. We need to go find metal, basically, is what we need to do. Or we could go right into the base and take all their metal. We could do that. Add some excitement to the game, anyway. Grab some water there. And we have food right here. Eat. Nothing. To, oh, we do have something to put on. So, F, put you in there. Wood wise, do I have any on me? I think I do. Yeah, fill you up. Fill you up. Nothing else to fill up. Let's drop these off. It is four in the morning. We could take off soon and go and do something like that. So drop all you out of, into there. You're in there. Fuel is up here. And boy, it'd be nice to find the blueprint for that motorboat. Um, I wonder if the level of the research bench is necessary in order to find certain blueprints. If you're not going to find them until you have advanced the game some. That is a possibility. But I know it also will bring in more uh, more in intense attacks with, uh, with guns this time. And I don't have any armor on me. So I'm kind of hesitant to do that too fast. 
Don't advance the game too quickly. Bullets down in there. Okay, so with that we've got... Uh, let's grab some more arrows or bolts. I can make one more round. So where is that? Here and right down there. Okay, so that gives me that many. Should be enough for the kind of attack we're going to be doing. And the boat should have food and water on it, which is our version right now of uh, medicine in a sense. Oh, we've got all this stuff in here. Let's not make that mistake yet again. Yeah, one too many, huh? Anything I can leave behind? Um, thinking about it. Oh, there's more metal in here. Let's leave that behind. There's more bolts if we need it. Now I can do that. Okay. So, over here, up there. Dump these off real quick. Anyway, we'll go and clean up the mutants over here. We can get rid of all five mutant bases, and at least we don't have zombies coming at us anymore. We have more... Oh... Mad Max-looking angry people coming at us. <laughs> You ever saw the old movie Mad Max or even the new ones? You can imagine the uh, the armor that they had used with the gas masks on their faces and things like that. We got two guys standing right here. I think there's somebody right in there. This boat just keeps spinning on me. Okay, but I'm still plugged into it, so I can still steer him and move around. I think we'll take a lot of these guys out sniper wise. They will be shooting back at us, too. All right. Arrow drop. I'm going to go just above his head. There. Nope. I went off to the side a little bit. Now, I can't really see. Nope. Nothing's happening. The green cross here. Let me hit right on him. Interesting. What is going on here? The green cross here will turn yellow if you make a hit. And it's not happening. Maybe there is... I'm used to the guns. Let's go a lot higher. No, still didn't do it. Interesting. Let's go lower then. Lower. Maybe they have readjusted the uh, the amount of arrow drop since I've done this last. Okay. Got him. So it turns yellow when you make contact. Did he fall over? Nope, he ducked. Now the AI is really good in this game. It, uh, they will, except for the one who's just standing there not realizing what's going on, they will duck, they'll get behind things, they'll run off to the side, hit him again. So they do a pretty good job. Oh, that one hit my boat. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I brought the extra metal. Make more bolts. Let's head over here. You're, you duck down. Where are you? You're over there. And you're ducking down right now. And this boat is spinning underneath me. Gotcha. Oh, I think I went off to the side there. Alright, you're down. Let's back up. There we go. Now you can repair the boat with the same repair tool that you do the base. Alright, you're in there somewhere. Anybody else? Oh, hello. But he's the one with the crossbow. So I do want to take him out. Got him. But you, I think you're a zombie. Or a mutant. But I thought I aimed pretty good those last two times. Oh, there I got you. Okay. Hmm. 27 bolts left. Luckily, these crossbow bolts are pretty cheap. Two pieces of scrap metal makes them. Now, there's somebody up there still. I saw that one hit the railing. Ah, hit it again. That one probably went over his head. Ah, hit the railing. Okay, let's get a little closer. You are melee. Are there any more crossbolts up there? Or crossbows up there? I could go in with... Ah, oh, there's somebody inside. Mm, 
Yeah, this kind of feels unfair. Let's go in and say hi. Uh, C, jump in. Head over here. Hello. Oh, he got me. Ooh, he got me good. Ah, uh, got you. Oh. I'm ducking in my chair here. Got me again. And you, I need to get some bandages on. Did it. Let's get back in here. And... Got you. Alright. Oh, they're going for the feet. Bleeding again. Alright, let's do some five. I think I built up my ability to heal, though... It's going to be a while before it gets there. And while well, you guys are thinking about things, I'm going to go over here and loot your buddy. Aha! Uh -huh. Gotcha. Got you. So from the water is a pretty safe way to do this. Though it doesn't look like it's landing as powerful of a blow to them. It's taking a lot more pokes. Music changed. Usually that means, well, I take it back. Usually it means there's no more enemies, but it really it just means there's no more enemies right next to you. The only way to know for sure is to see if it went from red to white. Okay. Yeah, they beat me up pretty good. I am not used to not wearing armor. So I'm going to have to get used to being a civilian again. Oh, I got them all? There you are. Okay. So that is this group. I got the one in the water... I tried none of them jumped in the water, though there were three up here that I took out. Oh, one of them's still here. Just the one. Okay, the other one already despawned. Okay, well that's one less mutant base. One less raid of zombies coming at us. Which is good and bad. Later, we're going to get tired of being shot at with AK-47s and we're going to Remember the good old days when it was just zombies coming at us. <laughs> now, in these settings, you can go in and turn down attacks. Turn down the number of combatants that are at the bases. Turn down the severity of, of how they attack you. Yeah. So... You can really minimize the combat if you just want to get in here and explore and loot and build. So that is a possibility. I took a look at it. I didn't see a way to completely turn it off. It just turned it way down. And I don't know exactly what way down... There you are! What way down means. But this is kind of a middle-of-the-road settings all the way through. To give you a sense of the difference. Uh, get back inside there, but let's grab what on earth armor too. Uh, until we find something better. Okay, <laughs> it's it protects my head a little bit somehow. <laughs> you have to put your pride away a little bit, I guess. All right, one more. There we go. Space-wise, I still have some room. Yep, getting really tired. Um, could eat the strawberries. Nah, I've got seeds. And that is... I don't know if you can eat these too raw. I've never tried it. In fact, I've never had cabbage before. That's honestly the first time I've ever seen it in the game. I know it existed, but I'd never found it. So, it must be a new tweak to the game to make cabbage a little more uh, available. So let's get you... Come on, start turning. Start turning. You can do it. Oh, motorboat. I want the motorboat. Turn you there. Okay. All right. Full stacks. That's those two and a 20. And what else? Probably this guy. Rocker jeans. Let's see what those look like. That's, that's a lot better. It goes well with the shirt, too. Okay. Don't know about the hat, but that'll do for now. Okay, that goes there, and these two are probably not that common. Same with that one. 
and that now that we've raided all the bodies and the strawberry seeds everything else we probably will still come across and no not those <laughs> okay what's inside here more clothes all right so no i don't think i'll be wearing that armor but patched pants armor two and cargo shorts armor one uh, same amount of armor so i'll take those otherwise grab all that over here get a little more wood out of this get down lower so he makes it good same with you you probably have cloth or leather or not we don't have anything to give us energy do we now well we do have the the coca-cola in there probably should go and drink that because this is going to take forever all right let's do that real quick chest drink one of you okay give us a little bit more energy all right this area is done need to clear you out so there's a lot of wood on this base not a lot of metal you are nothing okay what's hiding in here ah a neon hotel sign that's kind of nice grab you a radio decoration i don't know if we plug that in if anything happens or not eventually we will have a generator and have electricity you are a solid wood cabinet i call you a chest of drawers and memorized you yep you're right there so down here we have nope so that's what we found so far and f grab the rest of you so silver coins will work at the trader kind of a something you can buy when there's nothing else you really want but you want to get rid of your stuff anyway so e grab everything in there and am i done let's see if the upstairs has anything more nope over here there's nothing you don't count barrels don't count no f and the boat doesn't count nor the net or whatever that is it's all permanent parts of the structure and nothing underneath a couple of sharks over there right there nothing behind me what we got over here hmm let's go visit that on the way home where is my boat right here drive <clears throat> So that was right over here, right? So map, what is that? It's a question mark. We don't know what it is yet. And we got the drowned downtown. I don't think that's what I was seeing. Let's move over here. I think the buildings are, you can just barely see them through the water right there. What is this area? Come on now. Oh, a couple of sharks right there. Wow. Or are they? No, those are marlins. We've discovered a village. I don't remember the village. I really don't. Huh. That's, that's a new name for me. Um, C. And we could... I may have to get right back in. I'm pretty sure those are marlins. Yes, they are. Anything else immediately around us? now so we could go at them with the spear which took quite a while or we could do something along those lines for a while it doesn't give you any indication that it hit so and the waves kind of get in the way so it's kind of hard to see although that's twice he is kind of phased out nope okay so apparently that is a new graphic does let you know that you've made contact. So you can sit here and pretty much you know, shoot fish in a barrel. You've got to be on the surface in order to do it, and you're dead. Okay, I'm too too far down. There we go. There. So there is another way to go fishing in this game. <laughs> One more hit. That ought to be enough. There we go. So you fish fillets and 
Don't know if we're going to need you to make the bigger backpack. Actually, I think it was shark skin that makes a bigger backpack. That's right, so we will have to do some shark hunting here soon. But what can we put into here? You, 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 and you. What can I pull back out? Um, kind of nothing. Yeah, everything else here, we're not likely to find anything else to match up to it. Except maybe him. Alright, so we actually would be wise to make some more bolts right now. Just in case we get surprised on our way back home. So, craft you. Let's get two stacks of 30, or as close as we can. Okay. So now, over here, can I... I can toss you in. Okay, so that clears up a space. Alright, so what is down here at the village? What is the red? Okay, this is a scrap pile. And we lost view of the of the salvage so that it stopped doing it. There we go. Half of our lung capacity left. The window works, that's good. Some of these windows don't. You're desperate for air and you hit the window and it just holds you there and you're like, uh oh. <laughs> Alright, let's go get this little tool chest over here. Good stuff. Anything else immediately? Well, we've got plenty of wood now, so let's make the goal try to get as much metal, scrap metal, out of this as we can. So that is you. Cloth is. Oh, you're an oven. Never mind. Okay, so now grab that. You. Scrap metal. The cars are scrap metal, but there's other things in them too. Anything that is just. Those. those Trash bins are really nice to find. I don't see them around here. Where you get so much metal for so little effort. We'll take the metal out of this one. And what is this building? He's just for show. Alright, well that was a good swim. Let's go back up and get air. So that's the building we started in. Mm, I don't know. It looks like the other one over there. Can I go through this? I can get more of what's in you just like last time that's wood that is food like things I think I'll just pass on that one don't need any more worms or charcoal filling up our inventory right now more red plant over there uh, another pickup truck over here let's grab metal out of that components cloth Okay, rubber, and tractor, grab you, and we'll see what's in the first floor of this building right behind me before I leave. See if it's worth coming back. Scrap metal. Otherwise, I'm seeing wood over there. What over here? These windows you can't get through? Yeah, can't get through those. So there's an example. Dumpster over there, but they usually don't have metal in them. How are we doing? We're kind of full. We can handle eight more metal and eight more glass. Or, uh, um, wood. So there's usually six in these guys. Call that good. Alright, boat is over there. Get back to the base while there's still some daylight. See if we can get some more serious expansion going on. Are ready to go? Yep. Home's right over there. So that takes out two of the five mutant bases. Um, gotta watch my energy level down there. And go. Gotta speed up a little bit more. But it's temporary. Running out again. Okay, Castaway Island. Park you over here. And if you do get the boat stuck, I don't know if you've noticed yet, C is push boat. So, early game, right after it released, everybody was getting their boat stuck. <laughs> so they had to come up with another way to, to deal with that. Find something to eat. And then, 
So they put that in and somebody very quickly figured out that they could exploit that while you were in the boat driving it. You could look down and actually it was a P that would pop up for P for push. And if you spam the P, it would take your speed up to two, three, four, five hundred kilometers per hour. And you'd fly across the map over there. So they had to quickly go fix that one too. That was kind of funny. Anyway, repair you. All right, clothing's back up to full, and oh, I don't know about that hat. <laughs> okay, so let's, I don't have a lot of space in here, so let's just directly start expanding the base some more. Uh, toss you, what can I get out of here that is not building material? You go down in there, uh, fish fillets, I'll keep those on me and continue cooking them as I think of it. You're down there, and this is all a big mix-up right now. The flare can go in there, though maybe tonight I'll light a flare. I'm out of bandages. I used up all those bandages. Wow. I did. Ah. So I think I'm going to have to do something I've never done before. Let's make some bandages. I honestly don't know that we're not going to see at least two of them. Not going to see another attack before this episode is out. Which is what? We're at 40 some minutes, so we got a little bit more time. Charcoal, drop you. I don't see us using glass for a while. I have room for you. Don't need any of the marlin skin, but I got nowhere to put it. Let's grab all those, put the marlin skin in there. Keep some components, keep some duct tape, keep some cloth, wood, everything else will be metal. Rubber probably not going to need okay uh more food yeah we'll eat you cook you drink you and get off to the boat which is not over here this time let's go bring that closer Need to go one row further out, so we'll park this over here. Um, actually, let's grab all of the metal out of here. I think I just changed the color of the boat again, didn't I? Yep, I did. I'd like to keep it yellow, it's what I'm used to, so when I dive out of the water searching for my boat, I know what color I'm looking for. Okay, so this guy, I want at least a 4x4 four four inside. I want a deck on the outside. I don't need a deck behind here. So this can be wall. Oops, this button. So build, this could be wall. And I don't think it needs to be a windowed wall. So we can go ahead and do that here. And... Do I put a foundation in there, or do I put a floor in there? Let's see. Build. Metal floor. It won't let me, because the pillars are up there. So I could put pillars down here, and then have this floor go across. It might look kind of odd. Let's see what a foundation does. That's clear out over here. Hmm... Yeah, I am not sure. Let's do this instead. Build you. And you'll go there every other. Yeah, that will help me to figure out... Let's see, put that away. Where the stairs are. And maybe I will put a second staircase right there. Or is there a reason why I would want to get into here? I am not sure. I do want some kind of a wall separating this. Hmm. Trying to think long term. Right now, let's just get a little bit of heat. What time is it? Now, I guess I thought I was seeing frost in my, my window, but apparently not. Um, let's get some light in here. And... Well, let's, let's test this. So now, can I do this? Build floor. Now I can do that. I think I'll make that work. 
you're there and there these are only three each so I can I can do that for a while okay so you're there this is actually a walkway and I need some way to end this so that nobody can come in here oops, and try to attack us I can't get up there anymore I guess it was over there when I was doing that so let me simulate it this way so some of them, if a, a marauder were to come in here could they get in? It looks like they can't. Kind of an eyesore, but it looks like uh, it's not a vulnerable point for us. Let's get the box. I want to grab that that uh, defense structure in there and save it. So we'll put you there in place of the axe. Drop down in here. And what is that? Three. And catch you. Great. And what is a... Let's see. You... And oops, there we go. Let's get back up there. Don't know if the torch will go out if you go in the water. I've never tried that. So yeah, if you were use right here, will it let me? No, it won't. That's the last of the foundation. These only go on foundations. Ah, okay. Now build we could barb wire right here. These guys will go pretty much anywhere except for water but we could do something like this and there's no um, um, friendly fire in a sense I can bang up against this all I want and not get hurt whereas they will get hurt let's get warmed up a bit okay so it's an eyesore but it's not gonna let anybody in um, and I can't stick a wall in there because there's no floor so I would pretty much have to build, let's see, let's try that. So a wall, I can not I can go down there, but I can't get into here. Okay, now there are other walls that you can go through things. Uh, build the defensive walls, like I guess these guys will cut through pretty much anything, but they are kind of Mad Max ugly. Um... We've got these guys down here, which are little ones. Actually, a, a nice little wall. Kind of a... Oh, the wall you'd have at the edge of your deck if you were living here and had a deck. Could go there, so we could take something like this. I can't tell my depth, but... I think... Yeah, well, no, there's my depth problem. Okay. Yep, yeah, sometimes it's hard. Just depends on your angle. Something like this might do it. What does that look like? Eh, it's doable. Okay, we'll make that work. And let's three box you up. We'll put you somewhere else. So looks funny up close, but from a distance, it's it it blocks the view. It does the job. Okay. So warm up again, and metal wise we still have some. So let's get down into here. Second staircase, what would that look like? And can I get far enough away to be able to do it and see it? I couldn't last time. Build, you, yeah. actually that's not bad. We could have them intersect each other just a little bit, I think. Yeah, I'll see if I can get the feet to match. Now, there is a lot of shake. That's not me moving my mouse. That's the game. I don't know if it's simulating your heartbeat or what. Kind of annoying when you're really trying to line things up. But that looks pretty good. That does. Yeah, the ability to merge some pieces into each other. There goes my torch. It just... Oh, it, I didn't lose it. Oh, now it's gone. Okay. Yep, torch ran out. But... The ability to merge some things into other things is kind of nice. It allows you to almost create new things out of out of these parts. Um, let's grab a new torch just to have it for tomorrow night. Craft you and put you down in there. Okay. But I think we'll... Well, it is only one in the morning. Okay. Get you run again. Um, let's bring the water down here. Though, unfortunately, we're going to lose the wood that's in it. We are. There's no water in it to lose, so I didn't lose all the effort, but I will lose the wood. And I'll lose this. We'll wait a little bit longer. Same thing here. 
So no more adding wood. So FF, keep you cooking, and we'll keep drinking. So maybe next episode we'll we'll move the uh, the kitchen down to this area. Now one, two, three, four, and then a porch. So I'd like to have a porch down here, and then we can start putting the barricades. The uh, these guys wooden wall spikes all around the foundation so if they swim into us and start banging on it they'll actually make one of these disappear and I'm trying to remember if what is sitting on it will remain like when I took it out intentionally or if it will destroy because it was done out of aggression rather than out of you know changing you know remodeling so it's possible it will destroy it I don't know foundation build so I don't feel like we're getting a whole lot done this episode. It's more along the lines of just, uh, again, talking about what the game is capable of and planning out the future. Does he stay? That is a pathway up there. Yeah, that's right, there is a gap, so I guess he has to stay. Is that right? No, this one can go away. Yeah, I'll leave it there for now. Okay, so those are going to go there. I'm, I'm out of metal, so there's not a whole lot more building I can do right now. Um, you, though, could go right here as a reminder that we're going to build this this row of these along this edge here. Yeah, kind of a, a low wall. Okay, well, this guy's bugging me, so let's at least get this one in. Build foundation right there. Okay, so there'll be walls out to here. We got more foundations. I need another couple hundred metal. So where am I at? Coming up on almost an hour. Maybe we'll do one more day of looting. In fact, we can do that right now. Go pick a new area, go down under the water and see what we can find. So eat, yeah, eat you. And no, I don't need it. We'll drink you just to get that used up. Let's drink one of those two and eat one of those. Max our bars out just to just to get that done. Food goes away. You go away. Do I have room down here now? Um, yeah, you can add. You guys can go together. Uh, cloth does fit. And wood almost fit. And we're pretty much out of space. So there's no way the metal's going in. Metal sits there. Grab you, put you in there, put the wall spike in there, and you go back in there so that you can go in there. Okay, so that clears me out. Is the boat empty? I think it is now. You are over here. Ah, oh, made it. Um, there. Nope, changed the color of the boat again. Uh, it's not empty. Okay, so let's see. Oh, the torch does burn underwater. I would not have guessed that. Um, just to show you something here. Use. So the neons will work without power. I'll just pop them in. And now that I've got that box where I can move things, when I first started playing this, you couldn't. If you needed to destroy this wall to move it, that was destroyed too. So, but now we can move these things around. It's much better. Uh, get rid of the torch. And let's get rid of this stuff real quick. Foods. Food. That all for foods? Yep. And I guess top box is just getting generic randomness at the moment. And good enough. All right, let's get out of here and pick a new place to go and explore. 21% for the village. Though it's kind of deep diving. What else is immediately around here? You, I don't know what you are. Some of these are really deep. So the further we get away from our castaway island, the more we're going to have to have the air tanks to do anything. So let's clean up some of what we already have. Unknown ruins. Kind of right in front of us. So let's head over here. It's this... Uh, electric tower coming out of the water. Let's see if there's any more metal out over here. 
so we can get maybe some more foundations put in. So from this side over here, always check for sharks first. That's wood. Okay, so nothing around here. Go up, top off the air. Though I'm actually not seeing cars or scrap piles. We did clean up a lot of this area. It says it's only 40 some percent done. So the area must be a lot bigger than I gave it credit. Probably counts for down there too. Nothing down there though. Air's already running out. Okay, there's metal in there. Fill up some air. Dive in. Get metal and cloth, which is good. Need cloth to make rope, and rope's used for quite a few things here at the beginning. I'm going to leave everything that's wood this time and concentrate all of our storage on things that are metal, although this is, uh, there you are. This is mostly what's inside, okay. And out of air again, there's a cart, perfect. Ah, pickup truck over there. And what is that, scallops are over there. And it sounds like I've got the sound level a little bit low on the uh, sound effects. Not hearing all the noises that I'm used to for for uh, looting. Last episode, pounding with the axe underwater was so loud I had to go through and cut all those sections out and drop the volume down significantly because it was boom, 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 really loud. And it got to where you couldn't even hear my voice. So I turned the volume way down, and now I think I've gone down too low. So, as with most series, I find that it takes two or three episodes to really get the, uh, the volume dialed in properly. So let me know what you think on your end. Now we've got music going. Is the music loud enough? Nice, gentle, enjoyable music right now. Then when an attack comes in, it, it gets much more intense. Marlin's over there. Is that ours? What is that? That's Radio Island, isn't it? Ah, another base. I think those are marauders. These guys. Let's try not to wake them up. Let's try not to get too close over there. And E. And got a little more air yet. Oh, we're over here too. Tires. I'll skip the tires. I don't need the uh, the rubber right now. Okay. Space-wise, uh, red cloth sofa blueprints. They called this one a sofa too, if I remember right. Okay. Inventory. We'll go ahead and read you. And. Not seeing metal, but this is a huge roof. What's underneath? What was that? Nope. I think we were here last time when we first did this area. Yeah, so this is done. Nothing down below there. There's something. Uh, grab some air. We'll get that one too. hill. There is... I think we went down there last time. I remember that. And we went through a lot of these bays last time. Not seeing anything metal there. Could use this guy always. And this looks familiar. So we've been there. So what is that? That's a car. Good. Lots of scrap metal. We getting close? Getting close. Okay. I can do one more car on my way back to the boat. This building. Done. Boat is... Boat up oh, above me. Okay. Let's dump off. Alright. Fifteens are full. 
Um, sure, we'll drink you, top us off. Don't have... Normally I'd be putting the fuel into my boat to make space, but that's not a thing right now. Um, meaning into the gas tank of the boat. <laughs> Let's see, grab all those. Sure, we'll just dump all of you in here. We've got room. There we go. So let's jump back in and map one more place to hit before we shut this down. 10% of the mansion. Let's go play with a shark. I think that was a right turn. Now well, we got to go forward. All right. It goes faster than it turns. There we go. Now we cleared out everything on that one. The mansion, there's the roof. I, I think that's the roof. No, it's not. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. It's right out there. There it is. Right there. Now, I need a little bit of distance between me and that shark. So it's not attacking me while I'm trying to... There he is. I'm trying to take him out. So, let's see if that's enough distance. I am going to... That's not him. Where is he? Is that him? I think it is. Yeah, that's him. I, above, there I am. You can take him with a spear. I might have to. These waves are making it too difficult to aim. Alright, let's go play. It's all timing. Here he comes. Oh, and that was not the right timing. Oh, boy, he is faster than I can hit my button. Yeah, I'm dying here. Uh, five. Yep, he's quick. So, back to this guy. And I just... It's going to take a lot of shots, though. Let's see. Let's grab another one of those. I'm out of that now. A little bit closer. The waves do make it really hard to do this. Let's do it from the boat. Let's even get right up on top of them. So he is where now? Right there. Come on, boat. Make your turn. Without any armor, you're pretty vulnerable in this game, and we're not ready for armor yet. That's. I want to say that is tech level three. Man, I can't see a thing now. Too much foam in the waves. Ho <laughs> ho The mansion might not be in our network right now. Maybe that is the safest way to, to word that. Yeah. Okay, so home is all the way back there. And I'm over an hour anyway, so I think I'm going to just run back with my tail between my legs and be thankful I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, he nailed me three times. It always catches me by surprise when I haven't uh, danced with him for a while, how quick he uh, reacts. Although there was a time in between, you know, like, I don't know, update six or seven, somewhere in there. I don't know what number we're on right now, but when the shark was just went into a whole different mode. He was just hardly swimming at all. He can practically walk up and jump on him and ride him. So I see they have fixed that and he has got all of his agility back. Anyway, I think I'm going to call this one finished here. Yeah. So it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll try and do this again next time. Bye-bye now.